Dear Mr. Ryan, we have analyzed the hair samples you sent to us from Mr. McDante and compared them to the DNA sample on file for Mr. James Stenbeck. Our conclusion was an acceptable margin of error is that the two samples match to a degree of 99.99 percent, sir. What? Matt? How can how can that, that how can that be? That that's impossible. With my father, anything is possible. You don't believe this, do you? I believe that that bastard is having one last final joke on me. From the grave. Wouldn't stop. Him. But this time I will. Where is he? Where is this? Whoa, 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 whoa. People who look like you look right now get frisked when they come into a police Where's station. Where's Mick Dante? Or rather, who is Mick Dante? Hmm? You know what this guy is claiming? Yes, I do. You do? Well, how long has he been claiming to be your dead father? Since last night. Where is he, Marco? Look, I understand that you're upset, Paul. I'm upset. He put my wife in a coma. Can you prove that? Why would I make something like that up? Look, he knows that I can't hold him here. I've got nothing. I've got to let him go, Sue. And unless I get concrete proof of a crime that I can pin on him. I trusted him. We let him into our home. We let him live with us. We had faith in him that he was going to help us. Is he in there? Marco, please. Five minutes. Paul, under the watchful eye of one of my officers. Reynolds, would you please escort Mr. Ryan into the interrogation room with Mr. Dante? Took so long, son. Don't you ever call me that again. I'm guessing that you're here because you got the DNA results from the hair that you took from my head. I'll take that as a yes. Then you have proof that I am who I say I am, even if that's not what you want to believe. You know, you managed to convince everybody that you were some kind of a scientific genius with with, with knowledge of herbs from Ecuador. Is it really such a stretch that you could have gotten to the lab before I did and cheated the results? From here? At a lab that you chose yourself? You have the proof now, Paul. I am your father. Step back, Mr. Ryan. I wish that you would see this as an opportunity for the rebirth of our father-son relationship. We never had a relate. I never, I never, I never had a relationship with him. This is our chance, Paul. Don't you see that? No! All I see is the greatest con man in the history of con men. Paul, don't you want to be the man that you always thought you could be? The husband, the father. This is real, Paul. But it's you right have any idea you. what real is at this point. And I do have the life that I've always wanted. I'm with Emily. I'm a father to Eliza. And it's, it's, it's real. You know what else is real? Is Allison's wedding to Casey tomorrow? Why would you bring that up? Because you went after her first. Because you just used her to get to us. But you are going to leave her alone. Do you understand me? What Casey and Allison have is real. And if you do anything to screw it up, I will break you. They've got the real thing. I've got the real thing with Emily. And you, someone like you, will never have anything like that in your life. What is the matter with you, Allison? He's like a little freak. Don't leave me, son. Don't call me son. You are. He needs help. He's faking this. We oh. oh. had a nose, but it wouldn't stop. Pass down. Oh my God. Maybe you'll do everybody a favor and bleed to death. Well, if you really thought that, then you wouldn't have brought him in here. I need you to leave the room, Paul. No, I'm not leaving you alone here with him. He's unconscious and bleeding. You have no idea what he's capable of. Yeah, Emily showed me the DNA report, and I get it. But right now, I have a patient in crisis, and I just need you to leave. Fine. But that cop outside, I'm telling him to stay put. Fine. Just go, Paul. You okay? Yeah, I'm good. <gasps> no, it, what is it, that? It's mixed. It's mixed. What? Is he okay? Is he, is he alive? Yeah, he's alive, and he's still claiming to be my father. He gave himself a, a nosebleed. What? 
He's a con man. He made it look like he was bleeding to death. And believe me, the thought crossed my mind more than once that I'd really love to see that happen. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where, where, where is he now? He's at the hospital. I wonder what name he used to check in under. Well, obviously, he's a very, very disturbed human yeah, being. Well, you know, the thing of it is, is that he makes me feel the same loathing and humiliation that James did. So it's like James is still here. He's like haunting me all over again. And when when my father died, you know, I, I, I felt free, right? I finally felt liberated, you know, like I had buried his legacy along with him. And now he's reaching his hand out of a stinking grave all over again. He's still trying to keep me from having the life Stop. that I've always wanted. Stop. I'm not going to let you do this to yourself. Dead, alive, your father doesn't control you, not anymore. You are your own man. You are the man I love more than anything. And I'm not going to lose you to some sick legacy you let go of a long time ago. Do you hear me? to check on the status of a patient that just checked in. His name is Mick Dante. He what? Needed a little woman. Paul? 